hello once again. So, I just, I'm not even, I'm not even in California yet. I'm not. And they, they sent me, they sent me the app. It's, they're using, uh, test flight because like, duh, everyone uses test flight. And it's, well, we're going to explore this. So this is, uh, the main screen. We got, we got what I'm assuming is Drago, what everyone's assuming is Drago. Welcome to Bakugan Battle Planet. We got TV shows and achievements, a learn more, a how-to, games, a Baku log, and news which with a little notification on there. So we're going to click that one. It's nighttime right now. And... Oh, there we go. Sme sneak peek event announced. Whoa. And mark your calendars. Yep. That just tells you about the thing that I'm going to go to. Uh, Saturday, December 1st, 2018. Welcome to Bakugan Battle Planet. Today marks the start of the Pyrus season. Pyrus is the color of aggression. A Pyrus player will strike first and ask questions later. For the next 10 weeks, we'll be following this thematic while keeping you updated on all the Bakugan news. Winky face. Let's test your skills with our, fire, our very first Pyrus quiz. Head over to the games tab and tap on the quizzes button to test your might. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Um, games? The Baku Brawl? Oh, forget quizzes. Baku Brawl. Hey! China? Hey, so Baku Source is not... I mean, like, I always have to have it, like, bit of... What the heck is going on? Whoa! Throw back... Okay. For a straight shot, but... Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this how you play the game now? Oh, so they're guaranteed to fight. It just happens. That's convenient, I like that. Okay. What? Is it just random for us? Oh, it can bounce off the corners. Ooh. This is so nice. This app is so slick already. I didn't expect this much quality. Straight, straight from the get-go. I can already tell I, I like China. I just like her. Just her design, everything about her is is fun. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little crazy. Way over there. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, interesting. The chi winch? Whoa. What? Really? No, rematch. Screw you. Come on. What? Forget about the- forget about going crazy! Rematch, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> to place an instant hit Baku core, tap any Baku core in the area. Right there. Uh huh! Place a trap Baku core. She usually goes around here. I'm doing it right, right next to her. <laughs> so, I gotta try and go to that one. So now instead of gate cards, we just have the Baku cores, and it and it has so much more area that that it covers. So I won again. Okay. Howl core versus Howl core. It's really, really, really back. Okay, too much. Back too, too much. Part of me as I take a drink. It'll so, lost that one. It's okay. We're fine. Maxotor versus Atrox. The back of course go away. No, that's a little too much. And it curves! Crap. Oh no. Both of our balls gonna stop. Come on, a little bit more. What? It's right there! Aww. Okay. Both balls stopped. 
see hers is the higher one. Oh, it's a draw. Okay. Figured you just go off a straight uh, B power, which is weird to say. I feel like it should be G power still. So they actually made it made it to where the in the 3D model there was one specific area in the 3D model that has to connect with the Baku core, and so it's that's really realistic. I appreciate it, developers. I appreciate that. Thank you. That is cool. I'm used to playing the uh, the. Um... Oh, that's why I should have got. Yes. I'm used to playing the the the, the, the Wii game that I did a, that I did a uh, series on. Where you just you just you just gotta touch it, it with any part of the Bakugan, and it's 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 on. Freaking finally, yes. <laughs> Unlocked a Trox, Aquas Trox, 200 V power. New encounter unlocked. China again. This looks like a lot of the, uh, a lot of the stuff... This looks like a lot of the stuff that, uh, Baku Source was putting out. Like, the images. Is, uh... Hmm. Do you want to quit? Nah, let's... Next encounter. More experience. Maybe they have it. Awesome, let's add this Baku Gun to the right away. Okay. <clears throat> um... Okay. Baku Corp, right. Right here. It's very, very isolated. Right. She's gonna bounce off the wall again. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I, I accidentally double tapped. So developers, if you're watching this, um, I'm pretty sure I double tapped the screen, which is why it skipped that. Ooh. Oh, she, her ball's gonna stop. Oh yeah. And pretty sure we won. Oh. My next one's what is that meaning? Like, it just shows the number, like, you just lost points because of its chaos. Why? Am I supposed to know? Oh, come on. Oh, really? Oh, no. Versus a Trox. I keep going for the. Keep, keep, just, just, just. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I wish I had better lighting for this video, but it's dark, so. What are you gonna do? Opening three times in a row triggers the team attack. Oh, nice! If you got skill, you get more perks. Tap it as, many, as much time as you can. Okay. I can do this, I can do this. One second left. More an interactive little bit right there. And... Ten left. Oh, come on. Okay. Just cycling back. Gotcha. Just... How, how, much, how much effort do I need to put into getting on the good, the good course? Tasty cores, the green cores. Each of greens, people. Still one. Still, still demolished. There's so many effects that's going on. So many particles. It's so cool. Team selection. So awesome. Let's add this block onto your meat right away. Get rid of this. Add. And you know what? We've seen brawling. We're gonna explore the rest of the app. Counter progression. Oh, A. Oh, look. oh my gosh, really? His name is actually A. It's actually named after. He's they're just letters. Okay, A. We have Masato, China, Colonel Trip. A Masato, Colonel Trip, Shargo unlocks level 15. More A Shargo, Strata. These are characters I, I that were not shown in the leaks. Magnus, there he is. More Colonel Trip. We have Philomena, there she is, and that is a lot to that is a lot to unlock. Right now, China. We are going back. We are exploring the rest of the app. You guys want to see the rest of the app? Baku log. What what is this? We have sin, sin. Oh, oh, this shows you all the all the good stuff. 
This oh, Fang Zor likes to torture. Oh, okay, likes to torture his opponents ever so slowly. He takes great pleasure in sneaking up on his victims. So it shows you everything that uh, it gives you like a catalog of every single Bakugan. What's this little gift icon? I don't know what those do. Other factions. Okay. What else do they got? Damn. Cr Whoa. Krakellis? What if- can I click on anything else? Core? Coming soon. Right now we only have Ultra. Okay. Lacks emotional intelligence, but is quick to calculate his plan of attack. He's an enormous octopus-style monster, arrives in silence, attacking his unprepared opponent surrounding them with all eight of his legs. Perhaps his weakest point is attack from the sky. Fascinating. There's Pegatrix. Okay, how about the how-to? Go to the how-to. Thank you very much. Coming soon! We'll get to that. Like, you can play the game, you can figure it out, you can deduce it all you want. We ain't gonna give you the, uh, we ain't gonna give you the official rules yet. How to transform, which they also won't tell us. There's more news, apparently. I don't believe there's more news. Okay, go to the, go to the home and TV shows. Can we watch an episode? Webisodes? The Brawlers and the Universe. Oh, show the Brawlers. I'm just teasing you guys at this point. If China, oh, Strata the Hunter, there he is. Age 35, once he hunted the world's most dangerous wildlife until he became aware of the existence of the otherworldly creatures called Bakugan, Strata has since tailored his cutting-edge technique, hitting hunting techniques to track down and neutralize Bakugan for sport. He's captured a few, keeping them as inert trophies in his mansion. Using a special energy siphoning weapon, Strata has the ability to drain a Bakugan of its power, leaving it dormant. Now let's talk about China. Like, it's been a lot of, oh, that was, that, that, that artwork just looks weird. It doesn't really look, it, it, everybody, everybody saw that artwork and they're like, is that really official? Is that real? So like, it doesn't fit the aesthetic or the style. Like, why? So this six-year-old Bakugan battle brawler, battler phenomenon, let me restart that. This six-year-old Bakugan battler phenomenon is both spoiled and fearsome, auctioning her abilities to the highest bidder. China has found a comfortable second home with Animus Incorporated. China is driven solely by the accumulation of money and pretty things. China works for Animus and will go wherever she is needed to help advance the company's goals. Her primary personal goal is to be the best and cutest Bakugan fighter ever. Quirky, precious, and fearsome. She's a sellout. Gotcha. Still probably gonna be my favorite, my favorite character. So, this is supposed to be- this is the main antagonist, people are assuming. Philomena is Benton Dusk's older, early 30s, meaner, and smarter sister after Benton, who's Benton, had serious has a, had serious falling out with his father. Philomena took up the mantle of chief officer of the Dusk bus business empire and took it to every corner of the planet. Ruthless and pragmatic, Philomena has no love for her, her wayward brother Benton. If anything, she would relish taking him completely out of the picture, with an intimate knowledge of the Bakugan phenomenon, Philomena has spent a fortune attempting to unlock their secrets and bring their vast potential to bear uh, to bear for Animus Incorporated. Got Magnus, Mr. Edgy, a masked boy, 14 years old, wielding the powerful Nilius, who becomes Dan's number one rival. Ah, so he's the rival. Uh, despite working for Animus, Magnus is strong as a strong believer in the Bushido Code uh, of the Samurai, though he has clearly lost his way. He's a Ronin? Is that a Ronin? That'd be a Ronin. Not really, but maybe. Ultimately, we will learn that Magnus has chosen this path for a noble purpose. Animus, I like how it's AAA, uh, is, prominent, is promising life-saving technology and medicines for his sister, who is incapacitated by a rare disease. Though he finds to save her sister, part of Magnus is ashamed of his actions, so he hides behind a mask and his strict code of honor in the field. Armed with a... I don't know what that word is. It's rare nowadays I see a word I don't know. Cadre? Cadre? of powerful Bakugan. Magnus is the best battler out there, except for Dan Kuzo. <laughs> Magnus takes an instant liking to Dan because it's obvious that this boy is special and his bond with his Bakugan is noble. Magnus turns him turns his jealousy into drive, dedicating himself to become to becoming the best battler possible in order to take down Dan Kuzo and save his sister once and for all. Okay, so he's probably going to get a redemption arc. There's probably going to be some where they team up. That's what I'm assuming. We have Leah, ooh, Winton, we knew Linton, Winton, Masato, Shun, hey, keep going. Lightning, the exit team, Benton Dusk. Hey guys, 
So I'm re-uploading this after the Bakugan sneak peek event, which I am currently working on vlogs for. Don't worry, those are coming. But after sitting down, having dinner with the whole team, and uh, talking about the video, this specific part with Benton Dusk uh, has spoilers. It's probably all online. Um, I did tweet it out. I deleted that tweet, but they, after talking to me, they were like, yeah, can you change that, please? And I'm like, you know what? Okay. So I changed, I'm, I changed it. You're not going to see it. No spoilers. I know. I mean, like, it's not cool. The show hasn't even, like, come out yet during this time, and we, we are already getting spoilers. That's not cool. So I'm cutting this part out. I'm sorry, but I'm sure you guys can appreciate the non-spoiler. So, continuing. It's vague, but that's spoiler. It lets lightning. Let's like, oh, geez, there's so much on lightning. <laughs> what the heck? The dog is the most important character, everyone. Age 18 in dog years, a French bulldog lightning sports a collar that allows him to carry and launch his own Bakugan. All kids filming prank videos need a lookout, and for the Bakugan brawlers, that lookout is lightning. A stray found, a stray found lingering in the back alley of Dan's home, lightning has become their unofficial mascot. A happy, dumpy, sleepy French bulldog who often co-stars with Dan Lightning isn't quite as fast as his name might suggest, but he's good for a yap when trouble is coming. Lightning is the best dog in the world, and that was before the kids had discovered that he could fight alongside them with Bakugan. I knew it. I mean, he's not just carrying a Bakugan. He is a legit brawler. Yes. He probably does, doesn't talk, but... Which is probably a good thing, because that'd be annoying. Because, you know, I'm, I'm mostly thinking about, like, the Thundercats, Snarf, like, that doesn't work. But it, it could, but I'm, I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be annoying. Um, with Bakugan, that's right, a dog. One very special dog has his own Bakugan and uses them in battle with his human friends. Ha, oh, that's fantastic. The Exit Team. A corporate-sponsored group of hired kid battlers. Oh, okay. So they're paid by... Animus? 14 through 60, the Exit are both well-equipped and more ruthless than our heroes. They might seem cool at first glance, and they do. With Animus funding helping their hip and well-produced internet vids garner a certain level of pop fame. But they are actually cold-blooded. <clears throat> okay, hang on. That was just... Internet vids. Them internet vids, guys. The YouTubes. They're on the YouTubes. They, they, they specialize in daily motion. Ah, created as a foil to the natural grounds well, the Bakugan Battle Brawlers have created the Exit Lead by Animus. Marketing team looks uh, looks to twist their notoriety into a corporate-friendly image that serves Philomena's goal of world domination. With the appearance of a twisted pop band, the members of the Exit are ranked A through E, which also happen to be their names. A is the leader of the Exit team, B is second in command, followed by C, D, and E. They are mercenary- uh, why isn't it- I feel like E should be three E's. It just- it would fit. They are mercenary and all about the money. They're all about damn money. <laughs> the Exit are the top kid battlers in Animus, with the exception of Think One Direction Gone Bad. Is the- are they allowed to do that? Is this an in-progress thing? Is that- can they- can they directly reference- could directly talk about- Okay, so I'm going to pop these open, show you guys everything. Pause the video if you want to, because I want to get to the rest of the- or I want to get to the rest of this. Bam, H10, medium build, Masato Kazumi. That is not a lot to go off of. It really? Oh, a Chilean-American. Neat! So that's everything for her. Colonel Armstrong, there's something for him. Feel free to stop. Feel free to read. Feel free to do whatever you want, because I, I am going to read this all my own, but I need to get to the rest of the video. TV episode! Coming soon. Okay, figured. Webisodes coming soon. Coming soon. Okay. The universe. Bakugan Battle Planet follows the adventures of Dan Kuzo and his best friends, the first kids on Earth to bond with the mysterious creatures known as Bakugan. When Bakugan begin emerging from the Earth's crust in a mysterious worldwide awakening, Dan and his friends must learn how to work with their Bakugan and deploy them in battle in order to survive the endless forces out to control, enslave, and destroy the mysterious race of creatures. Dan and the Awesome Ones... I thought that was a joke. Oh my god, it's real. <laughs> ...must protect their Bakugan, the Earth, and ultimately the incredible secret hidden beneath their feet. Okay. It didn't come from space this time, it came from the Earth. Okay. That's everything on the TV show bit. Uh, I got an achievement? 
got an achievement. I think that's everything about the, uh... Oh, first time quiz. We haven't taken a quiz yet. Guys, we gotta take a quiz. This isn't a complete video unless we take a quiz. Quiz it up. Pyrus Baku... I'm gonna fail. I don't know anything about it now. This is an entirely different series. Come on, Pyrus Bakugan. Which of the following is not Pyrus? Got that one. Look at the color. Bam. Next. That's it. We won. I'm a god. I'm amazing. I'm a genius. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. How about Winton? Which quality best describes Winton? Smart, maybe? With the glasses? Why is there a pause? Yep. Whoa. Oh, there's four. How old is Winton approximately? 10 to 11? I forgot. I didn't read his bio. Nope, he's 11 to 12. He's a little older. What does Winton like to do? Is it pranking? Because they talked about... They talked about how lightning helps with the pranking and stuff. So I'm going to go pranking. Maybe it's music. It's pranking. Okay, he likes pranking. Who is Winton's main Baku... Oh... I feel like he's more of a Mantanoid guy. I mean, Pegatrix is definitely... What was it? Leah? Uh... Trox? Mm, he could be a Trox guy. I'm not... I forget who Sinadeus, Sinadeus is. I'm going to say Mantoid. Mantanoid. Nope, it's a Trox. He likes them T-Rexes. Two out of four? Okay. So that is the Bakugan app. A little taste, a little tidbit. This is cool. This is awesome. And I am shocked that they just tossed this to me before I even left. It's the day before at night. Okay, I need to, I need to say something real quick. So, you guys know that this is coming out after the Bakugan sneak peek. So I just want to say, this is Steve. The guy with the glasses. He's one of the creators of the app. He's not the only one, but he's the one I talk to primarily. And he's also the one presenting, so he's the one I'm going to talk about. And he's the one who told me this. He said, like, people were complaining about how they're, they're, the spheres don't pop open, and they don't have 3D models in the app. And I'm like, it's not that big of a deal, but okay. And I asked him that. Actually, I actually asked him, like, why? This is, this is what they're complaining about. And I gave him some tips about the gameplay and um, what it feels like and what their goal was. And what he said for the whole 3D, 3D model thing, he said, you need to remember that he was given assets. He can't create them. He knows how to make a game. He doesn't know how to animate. He doesn't know how to 3D mold. And he makes the game. So he was given assets, and that's what he had to work with. And what's even funnier is he said um, that the whole point of the app was to be a hub. It was supposed to be like... When people aren't watching the show and when they aren't playing the game, they're going about their life on their phone and they have access to any news on the on the phone so that it's Bakugan 24-7. And they said that they needed him to create a news bit, create a quiz, and create a mini game. And he said that was his he said he used that as an excuse to make the best freaking mini game he could. Like he did not need to go that hard on the game. So major props to Steve, guys. Come on, this is awesome. This is like one of the coolest things for just a mini game. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm going to say now, Steve, I appreciate you. We appreciate you. No, not just Steve. Because it's not. I know it's not just you. Everyone behind the app. Actually, was it just two people? I'm pretty sure it was just two people. I, I only met two people. There's only two people who said it. If, if there's more than two, you guys too. Like, this was just amazing. This was This was fantastic. We appreciate it, and it is fun. I grinded till I was like level thirteen. I grinded during the entire entire flight because I was just like, "This is fun. This isn't this isn't how the game is kind of played," but it's still really engaging. And what's even funnier is that he, I have I have a little bit of an issue with like throwing the Baku gun, and I'm like, I'm going across like six Baku cores, and I'm not landing on any of them. What's up with that? And he said, "Well, that's what happens in the game sometimes." And he said he wants to emulate the the physical game as much as possible, and I'm like, oh. Well, you, you hit the nail on the head. That's it, it. Now that I think about it, this is pretty freaking accurate. Wow. So, major props to them. I just want to. I just want to give a spotlight to the actual people behind who's doing this stuff. So this is one of them. You can thank him. So at least I have. At least I have time to work on the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay beautiful and keep playing. Tell me what you think about the app so far. I love it.